Hello, and welcome to Day 8 of The Sims 3 Volition Hunger Games, the final season! So, we have five competitors still. We were down to four, but Mark Turner was revived, and he is back. He is back! Um, he's taking a bath. He has his nose ring in that he doesn't have in real life. Evil Eads is sleeping in a bag. Uh, Derek Wade is sleeping in the bed. Fairy Derek. Um, Morgan is playing with the cow plant. And Devin Barkley wants to go wash dishes. He is not doing very well. He is very thirsty. Um, we're going to have him eat that because he can. Because I think very thirsty might be the equivalent of starving, maybe? I don't know, maybe not. Anyways, he just ate it, so he's good now. Um, yeah, so that is what is happening here uh, right now. And... Today's competition is going to be kind of fun, I think. Um, we'll see. I'm going to get it started. We're just going to start. We're going to go from the bottom up because normally I go from the top down. So today we're going to start from the bottom up. Um, and it is ride the bull. And I'm going to just record the times that people ride the bull. So let me get, I probably should have done this beforehand, but let me get their names all written down. So we have um, Evil Eads. We have Mark Q Turner, we have Derek Wade, we have Morgan, and we have Devin Barkley, Reggie. Um, and I'm just going to time how long they can bull ride. I did this the first season and somebody asked for it again. So um, that is the plan. Let's see, where's my timer on my phone? Um, okay, so we're going to start with Evil Eads just right off the bat. Um, we're going to go with Crazy Cowboy. That one's more fun, you know? Um, and we'll just see, we'll just time him from the second he enters this little ramp. That's what, how, what we'll time them by. Um, no, go here. Go here, dude. Dude, go here. And crazy cowboy it. Crazy cowboy. Oh, he's too hungry. Let's try raising hygiene. Too hungry still? Crazy cowboy. Crazy cowboy. Come on, man. Does he have any food in his inventory to have him eat? No. Okay, well, um. Let's see, what is he at? He is at very hungry. Just base of very hungry. Is he borderline starving? He is borderline starving. So we'll come back to you because I think we're going to have him go slam machines in like a few minutes um, and then we don't have to cheat. So we're just going to Mark Turner go crazy cowboy Mark Turner. Crazy cowboy. Mark Turner, you coming? Coming Mark? Yeah, Mark's not too afraid. Mark will do it. Mark will do it. He is not too afraid like you, Evil Leeds. Okay. Oh, reset. From the second he crosses the threshold, and we're going to keep it on regular play. Oh, yeah. There we go. Timing. And Mark Turner dressed up like a cowboy. That's how Mark Turner does it. That's how Mark Turner does it. Look at him go. Yeah. He isn't going to fall off. Technically, Mark Turner was in Season 1, um, and he has done this before, so he probably has a little bit higher of a hidden skill on this. Um, I don't know if Morgan did it or not. I think she did, so Morgan might also have a bit of a hidden skill on this, but nobody else should. Um, but once again, somebody requested that this be done. Um, this is amazing. Mark Turner riding the cow. He's gone into 50 seconds now, so he's doing really good. Oh, he just gets off. Oh, and he's done now. 59 seconds. So Mark Turner did it for 59, and he never even fell off. So he just got off. Um, I think that is impressive. The, the riding bull at the highest level did not knock Mark, Mark Turner off. 
that conquered the bull your heart swells with confidence and you're brimmed with pride you just grabbed life by the horns from riding the mechanical bull plus 40 mood for four hours go mark turner yeah um evilies are you starving now thank goodness okay so come here dude dude come here what are you doing you're gonna play with it no you're going to slam the machines three times that's what you're gonna do and if you get food then we're gonna have you ride a bull yeah that's what that's what okay what is he doing outside it might have made him go outside um because i told him to do this maybe it might be my fault that he went outside so i'm not gonna punish him because i told him to slam and it might have thought to go outside to do it i'm not entirely sure so we will not punish him for being outside that time because i did tell him to go somewhere I know we've had problems where people want to wash the sink dishes and they go like halfway outside, so I think there's some type of a pathing issue with this room. <gasps> oh, that scared me to death. I don't know if you heard me scream. I'm sorry. Um, I did not expect that to happen, uh, and it kind of freaked me out. So Evil Eads is dead. That happened. Um... I just thought maybe he would get some food and we could ride the mechanical bull. Um, but I guess not. I guess he was too busy dying and things. Um, so I guess he's not competing. I'll just cross him off the list. So we have a dead evil Eads. The cat is really sad. Um, Devin Barkley's inventory. They should go to Morgan's because Morgan was Evil Eats' alliance. Um, so Morgan gets a hacky sack. She gets the grave of vampire Eads. And she gets a Sunsbane umbrella. Um, the rest of it's all Devin Barkley's already. He has a ton of things. Morgan has quite a few things. Um, Derek Wade has a gnome and a claw dipper so he has like the most useless things and mark turner has an umbrella and a book so he doesn't have very good things either um so yeah that sinks for him mark turner's really sad that he died but nobody else really cares it looks like um okay so derek wade it's your turn to go ride the bull oh derek wade you're starving too oh my goodness okay slam the machine derek is Mark Turner starving? Mark Turner is not starving. Go here, Mark. Derek Wade, you must slam the machine. Morgan, how are you? Derek and Devin is doing well. Okay, Derek. After this, you will have to go ride the bull as well. Did he make it? He made it. And he got food! Okay, you must do it again. Did he make it? No food, but he made it. Next one. Oh, he made it. And he got some food. Okay. So, whatever you want to eat first, Derek. He's starving. He chooses to eat his candy bar. Um, so go here then. Oh, cow plant with cake is ready. Um, so let's put that in here because we don't want people to die by that yet. Not just yet. How are you? Are you cakey? No. Okay, we're good. Um, okay, so Mark Turner has a 59.03 seconds on the machine here. So, um... Good luck beating that, Derek, because that was the best we have ever seen. Foss did really well last time. Um, so crazy cowboy it up, Derek. He crossed the thing. He does not want to dress like a cowboy because, well, he's not Mark Turner. Um, let's see how well he can do. He has gone up. Oh, this is athletic skill based. 
Wow, okay, so he is really pretty athletic, Derek Wade is, so he'll probably do pretty well. Um, he's at 25 seconds now, almost. And he's still going. 35 seconds. 40. Oh man, he might catch up with Mark. Fifty seconds, fifty-two. Oh. He got knocked off at fifty-five and he's out of there. Yep. He got knocked off at fifty-five seconds. Okay. And he got knocked off. So, I mean, he didn't deserve to win anyways, because Mark Turner, he just jumped off when he was ready. Mark Turner's like, you know what? I'm done with this. I just I'm just gonna get off now. Nobody'll beat this. Okay, Morgan Ledbetter. Um, you are not starving, so you just have to go do crazy cowgirl. Um Morgan does not have a high athletic skill, so I am not expecting her to do well at this at all. Um, and Devin Barkley, duh, he is a five, so he might do well. Let's see what Mark Turner's was. A seven. Derek's was a seven. So, I mean, maybe that's why Derek did so well. So maybe Morgan and De Devin will do okay, and Morgan will do pretty poorly. We'll see. Um, Morgan started off this whole thing with maybe one athletic skill. So, I mean, she might be better than you'd think. Okay, so Morgan is also choosing not to wear the cowgirl outfit. She's just going to wear her pajamas, which, okay. Personally, I would have opted for the cowgirl outfit in real life, but whatever. Whatever. It's all good. The cat has come to watch. I'm at 23 seconds now. Oh, I am barely hanging on. Oh, I'm off at 37 seconds. But I improved my athletic skill up by one. So 37 seconds for Morgan. Um, knocked off. Um, did I tell you guys what the things are for this? We are all doing a fire room after this. All the losers are doing a fire room. Did I say that? Um, so only the winner gets an item off their list. And... Um, and gets to go to the winner's room. However, alliance of that person does get to go. And, okay, so I may have completely forgot to tell you guys to win. I can't remember. Anyways, um, if you win this, um, you get to go to the winner's room. Your alliance gets to go with you only if it's somebody you chose and they're completely kicked out of the thing. So, so far, Mark's alliance isn't alive, so nobody will get to go with them. Um, in fact, Derek's alliance was, um... He has none, and Devin Barkley is Justin Heath. So really, only if Morgan won would Mark get to go with her. So I guess it's kind of obsolete. Anyways, Crazy Cowboy. Start. And he also has not opted for the cowboy outfit. That was just a Mark Turner. Mark Turner decided to do that alone. He's quite the character. Let's see, his needs are pretty high, though, and he has a 5 in athletics. So he might do pretty well. I mean, he has to at least beat Morgan's 37 seconds. You'd think. We are going to have a four-person fire room, but now it looks like we're only going to have a three-person fire room because Evilides died. And, you know, that happened. He's at 43 seconds. He's at 51 seconds. And he decided to get off? At 55 seconds, he has gotten off. So, he got off. And Mark got off at 59 seconds. So that makes Mark the winner. But he does get the Conquered the Bull from Riding Mechanical Bull thing. Um, nobody else did. So, congratulations to you and Mark for getting that nice little... Moodlet boost. Um, okay, so let's 
Let's get these rooms ready. You did not win, Devin Barkley. It was not enough. You needed to ride the bull for longer. Um, let's see here. So we're going to put some heart thingy in here. Oh my gosh. So who's going to die? Who's going to die? Um, let's see. What did Mark Turner want? Mark Turner wanted a base. Of course, Mark Turner wanted a base. Um, okay. So let's see. Where are the hobby and skill items? Here is a base for Mark Turner. Um, and Mark Turner also gets to do winner's room. Here you go. You can wake up and you can go on in here, Mark Turner. Congratulations. Um, we're going to start by having you clean that up, though. Um... Everyone else, let's see, we're going to have to have a Devin Barkley, a Morgan Ledbetter, and a Derek Wade. Come here. Derek, it's too bad for Derek because he is doing exceptionally well everything else-wise, and this is just going to knock it off for him. Um, he's doing pretty well. Morgan is doing the worst of everybody. Actually, Mark's doing a little bit worse than Morgan, but he is in the winner's room now, so Morgan is now doing the worst. Um, Morgan, come here. Morgan is broken. Okay. Go on in there, Morgan. Okay, so Devin Barkley, light the fire. Morgan, light the fire. And Derek Wade, light the fire. And we will see who dies first. Um, it's not even... Okay, so the way this goes is everybody has to survive a fire in their room. So once you have... Everybody will be having a fire in their room. That's how long this is going to go for. So it's possible... I suppose Mark Turner could win this whole thing. Um, right now. Just... This could be it. Um, to be honest, I don't want that to happen. Okay, so this is... So we're not going to do that because that would be anticlimactic for the final season. If this was just a regular season, we might do it. But this, this is not just a regular season. This is the final season. So if two people die, the third one gets let, let go and we will have a final episode next season. Okay. Or next, next video. Um, if, if anybody survives their fire, then we will continue to do all three. I hope that makes sense. Um, but I don't want the final this to be the final episode. Like, we need to have a gauntlet for the final one. Because some people ask for gauntlets, too. So gauntlets are technically on my list. Um, so we will see how this goes. But I don't want people to just lose this. You know what I mean? Um, I am impressed, though, by Mark Turner's bull riding stuff. Like, not only he did he go the longest, he also dressed like a cowboy. And he didn't get bucked off. He jumped off. So, I mean... Congratulations also to Devin Barkley for riding it without getting knocked off, but but he did not dress like a cowboy either, so Mark Turner was just kind of amazing there. Um, um, let's get her another heart. I just wanted to get rid of that because... Nobody else had that in their room, so it was a little bit unfair for her to have to have that in her room. Uh, okay, going again. Oh, the cat is baiting itself again. No, the dog is. How is Mark Turner doing? Oh, Mark Turner is, of course, in here playing the bass right now. He's just super happy. He's like, yeah, I have my bass. And he's improving his bass skill. Let's see, what is it at? His bass skill is at 8. It's almost up to 9 now, so he's just having fun in here. Playing the bass, of course. 
Like, he could be doing anything, but this is what he chooses to do. He could be sleeping or eating or taking a bath or just enjoying life in general. But no, he just wants to play bass. Little skinny Mark Turner in here. And his long underwear. Oh my gosh, we have a fire! It's in Devin Barkley's room. <gasps> and Morgan has a fire! Devin Barkley is too busy streaming to notice that it is underneath him. Um, and he is on fire, but he doesn't care because he was streaming a video. Um, so, oh yeah, by the way, when somebody dies, I think it's going to get rid of the fire. Um, we will remake, because I didn't say it till now, we're going to remake... Um, everyone go through a fire unless this happens for a long time if this happens for a while and morgan isn't caught on fire then we'll just let her go and say she survived <sighs> maybe what we'll do okay so technically she did survive because the fire started and she wasn't standing in front of it so what we're going to do is if your fire starts during this and you're surviving it um and you haven't got caught on fire by the time this one ends you get to go free However, if you are caught on fire and it ends and you survive, then you have to redo it again. So like for example, Derek is standing in a very dangerous spot. If he gets caught on fire right now, he has to redo this. If Morgan gets caught on fire but the fire goes out, she has to redo this. If she doesn't get caught on fire, we're going to count her as surviving. Um, just because it will make the fire go away when one person dies. Which is not really what we want. Um, let's see. Who was Devin Barkley's alliance? Was Justin Heath? Who is the person closest to him? Mark Turner. So we're going to give Mark Turner all of Devin Barkley's things. Um, we'll just go ahead and give it to him. Because he's going to die like really soon. We'll just pause this. because. Okay, you got... Two shower in a cans, a radical repair potion, a stink juice potion, a rain disruptor, a boom box. Um, like a bajillion grays, we'll just let them go to whoever they want to go to. We'll give you a book, we will give you an umbrella, a rain disruptor umbrella, the book A Good Shwarma, uh, two sleeping bags to Mark Turner. And the graves can go wherever they want. Will Morgan survive? Or if the fire just continues, we'll just play it out, too. That could technically happen. No, okay. Well, we'll count Morgan as surviving, then. Um, but we're gonna have Derek have to survive again because Derek didn't technically... Mm. Nah, we'll make Morgan try again. We'll just make her try again. Why not, you know? Technically it wasn't fully done. We'll just have them try again. Um... There, here's Derek's fire challenge. I don't think Vampire Elder Devin Barkley is coming back. I think that this is actually it for him. Um, because Grim Reaper says, ooh, fire, I'll grab a sandwich and be back. Um, because I don't think anyone has a revive for him waiting anymore. Derek, move! No, Derek! Derek, no, you're on fire! There is a possibility Derek Wade could come back, to be honest. Um, and, like I said, um, we do not want two people dying, so we're going to move Morgan out because we cannot have two deaths. Well...
Actually, I don't know. We'll have to see if there's a way for someone to win a final item before the final competition or not. Is there something helpful for Derek, for Mark? Shower in a can is what he would win. Well, oh man. Okay, well, it might just be Mark Q. Turner and Morgan um, for the final season. Oh, no, don't teleport there, Morgan. Don't teleport there. No, don't put out of now! We can't have you in the fire room. Get out of there! Get out of there, Morgan. Um. Okay, fire. You can stop any time now. We're done with you, fire. Sandy hasn't given enough special attention. And if we don't take care of her, somebody's gonna come and take her away. That's nice. Probably our horse and our dog, too. But the reason why we have it is because there's been fires for like the last five hours on our lot. And they won't stop. So we can't do anything about it, guys. We can't do anything about it. So I actually think we probably won't do a competition where we can bring someone back. And because these are the final two, that means Derek Wade cannot come back. But that is unfortunate because I think that would have been amusing. Um, Morgan feels negligent. Because when a caregiver fails their duty, everyone feels bad. It says, Put out the fire. No! Oh my gosh, will you stop already? Will you stop? Okay, we're just going to raise these up for our pets because I don't want them getting taken away. And we can't do anything about it because it's stupid. Oh! You've treated your pets poorly and the government is going to take them away. Cool! Cool! Well, you know what? It wasn't our fault. There was a fire and our fire was here and you just took my unicorn. You took our unicorn! It, we couldn't help the fire. We've been standing in our own pee because, I mean, even you can't take the animals away because there's a fire. So you see, it wasn't our fault, sir. It wasn't our fault. You jerk. You jerk taking our pets. Okay. I, I mean, I'm trying to put out the fire, but it just keeps starting. Oh my gosh. This is out of control. I'll miss you, RBX, Jam Turner, the Unicorn, Sandy Ivanova, the dog, and Gorker, the cat. I'll miss you guys so much. All the rooms are on fire now. Nobody's gonna like starve to death, are they? There's a little like teddy bear with a tear. This needs to end. How about I'll be right back as soon as this is over. Okay, so like five fires later, I finally put out all the fires. Um, I end up having to raise up all their needs because they were about right all starved to death. And I'm still really distraught about our animals getting taken away. Um here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them be in here a little bit so that they can decide what needs they want to fulfill and not. I did have everything raised up for both of them so they're about equal. Um, however, they can do whatever they want for a little while. Mark's going to play some guitar, Morgan's going to clean some dishes, and we'll just see how this goes down. But um, yeah, one of these two are going to be the season winner. Um, I did not try to fix this so that I won. I will promise you that. Um, it's not even the season winner, it's the whole Volition Hunger Games winner. So, that's pretty exciting. Um, anywho, um, yeah, so, I don't know. Tomorrow is just gonna be the, the ultimate trial of fire and death and stuff. Okay, yeah, this is pretty much how are we gonna prepare for our final day alive mark. Base and video games. Base and video games. I can believe it. Anyways, so thanks for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow on the final video of all the Sims of Volition Hunger Games.